still okay to get in. It's just the ocean. Right? Is now coming in from Puerto Rico after taking a direct hit. Everything went like slow motion. I love traveling by rental car because you can stop in the littlest towns that you have no idea even existed prior. We are on our way to one of the southern cities in Puerto Rico and we stopped in this little town at the Pandoria to just grab some lunch, kind of take a break from driving because it was about an hour and a half. So we're going to grab some lunch and then hit the road again. Yep. Hold up in the bottom. What you guys doing, Andre? Um, I got juice. We're on our way to another town on the southern coast and we stopped here in San Harman and we got some local food. I'm not really sure. It's just carne asada, some potatoes, some rice, beans with like it looks like squash in it. Mmm. This is so so good. I actually like this a lot better than the food I had yesterday at the food truck hall because this carne asada is very tender has a lot of moisture in it i love that there's so much fat on this carne asada it adds so much extra flavor and the outside is a little crispy i'm a texture kind of guy when it comes to eating food so i like i like having something crunchy there you go. here we go i'm gonna put some food on there too there you go mm. good gotta have that crunch in your lunch this there is you nice go. gotta there try you go. it yeah flavor too Mmm. Garlic. Kind of like a a giant cracker in a way. Also you can try it with butter. With butter? With water? With butter. 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 Wow. That's good. Yeah. Apparently you're supposed to put butter on this. A lot of the local foods that you get here in these pandorias are like very, very filling. A lot of rice and beans, a lot of carbs, a lot of potatoes. But I just can't get over this meat that I'm eating right now. Like I keep telling Steve, I'm like, I love it, I love it, I love it. I just had a chunk of the skin. It was like fried. So fatty, so full of flavor. Okay, it, it doesn't look like much. Oh my God. It doesn't look like a lot's gone. But I promise you, I did something. Best unexpected stop, food was incredible. Let's get back on the road. Tons of unique things along the coast. One of them being Paita Rosada is where we're at right now. And I've never seen anything like this. You know it's getting real when the adventure cap goes on. Let's go, boy. <laughs> The actual accommodations and amenities area is very nice. They have a bunch of different grills so you can cook your own food, picnic tables, restrooms, and then of course the pool. The gates are still open and you could still come here even though it's not fully functional the way it was. It's still okay to get in. It's just the ocean. Right? So, after asking a local that was here and uh, not really speaking any. Spanish. I was My translator was able to help me out on this trip yet again, and basically it's uh, because of the recent hurricane. First pictures now coming in from Puerto Rico after taking a direct hit. Hurricane Maria slamming into the island. Everything went like slow motion. 150 like. mile an hour winds ripping buildings apart, knocking out power everywhere. You, you are in the rainbow in us, 
the twister and then black and white, everything destroyed. She was saying how there's a lot bigger is, problems. Yeah, there's people without water and electric for like a year. So this was the least of their problems to, to fix something like this when there were serious yeah. issues on the island to take care of her. We originally came for the pool and the kayaks and realized we were not fit to be on the water today. So we're coming down to the little town. We're just gonna enjoy the downtown vibe here. There's a lot of people in the streets, a lot of people drinking, some music, bars. It kind of seems like this is, I'd say like a yacht club town, like where the big boats come and they yeah. can dock and then they can, you know, make it to land, get groceries and things like that. Because the whole coast over here is lined with massive boats. Yeah, tons of islands out here that you can go to. But we're not doing that today. We're here in the town. Now let's enjoy this town and see what La Paguera has to offer. I love this. I love the nightlife. I love the vibe of people in the streets having a good time. Betting on some electronic horse races. So as we were walking through downtown this little area, they had a bunch of different street vendors from, you know, jewelry sales to fresh local honey. And I ended up getting kind of different stones. So this one is the seven stones, has like tiger eye for success, wealth, communication, clear insight, and then family, love, and a bunch of different other stones that have a whole lot of different meanings. It was kind of closed in the city center other than the art market the one night and we're hoping that Rincon is open and you know bustling tonight but I'm not too sure it is Saturday though so you never know. This place actually gave us a 15 minute limit so you can only have 15 minutes to finish your drink unless you order an appetizer and then if you order an appetizer you can stay as long as you want it's kind of shocking because i there's not really anybody in the bar but i just think she just wanted us to order an appetizer maybe maybe it's a rule no shadow. never heard of a corn stick <laughs> but that's what we went with apparently it's corn bread basically yeah I'll take a cornbread this second. It's like a fried corn puff. It's delicious. I have loved these new cut shirts that they sent me. They're not only thin and wrinkle free, so when you roll them up and shove them in your backpack like I do, or dry your face off with them, or dry your hair off with them after getting out of the ocean, they dry super quick and they're not wrinkly. They're just phenomenal. They have tons of colors, super high quality and thin. And they're offering everybody 15% off. So if you guys are interested in trying out the clothes, seeing if you like them, check the link in the description box below and go search the site and see what kind of discounts you guys can get. We just got super lucky. We came down here in the city center of Rincon. Tonight is Saturday and they have live music, dancing, and incredibly friendly people. So let's grab some drinks, some food, and enjoy the live music. what we expected here in Rincon, especially on a Saturday night. All the locals are out here in a circle, they're all dancing, doing the electric slide. I had no idea it was the electric slide. Steve hopped in, was dancing. Everybody's just in such a good mood, enjoying the Saturday night out here. We decided to try something a little different. We've been eating a lot of local Puerto Rican food and the crowd is too nice out there. Like we wanted to stay in the city center and we had the Ricon Beer Factory. So now it's about those tacos. We're gonna go a little Mexican.
If you've been to the southern peninsula of Mexico, you've probably heard of Playa del Carmen. Never have I heard of the Playa del Carmen drink. Lime, tequila, ginger, I don't know, a whole concoction. It's a little foamy on the top. Chili salt, very good. A little sour, very creamy and soft, but sour, but good. Michonga. Apparently, it's a burrito stuffed with queso, refried beans, and two types of meat: beef and lamb. Apparently, this is like the best meat that you can get here. Yeah, how good is that? So extremely, extremely good. Very savory. Very hot. Very delicious. The meat falls apart. That's enough. Taco tequila continue. Woo! Mexican food in Puerto Rico. That was actually much better than I expected. And it sounds like there's still music going on in the square. So should we walk around a little bit more and yeah. explore? For being in Puerto Rico, their Mexican food is real good. Miria? It's like a mix of beef and lamb, incredible, and it was 46 bucks for the two of us with a tip. With drinks. With drinks, Food and, and drinks. I got breakfast.